four-year-old monster and her plastic baby doll go everywhere together. It's hard to keep up with her, even after a night of rain in a cold tent pitched in the middle of a sports ground. Monsa shows us the portable toilets and open-air showers. She's too young to understand how pathetic the conditions are, but her mum knows. When we arrived, my daughter and I slept on the ground. It was extremely cold and she became very sick. So we decided to buy a tent. There are more than 1,000 children here. In the first town we arrived at, plenty of children got lost. Fortunately, I was always keeping an eye on my daughter and taking care of her. And in this shelter, I feel safe. These men say some people in the camp are profiting from the misery, selling tents that are supposed to be provided for free. This man is too afraid of the gangs in Honduras to show his face. He used to travel the world working in the merchant navy. I got off the ship based on the fact that I have a nine-year-old daughter that when she was going to school, she was, she, her backpack was taken and she was given another backpack full of drugs. The gang member told me that if I ever was to come back to him again, he was going to kill me and that my family, my daughters belong to him now. So that's one reason why I left my country. It's not because I did not have a job, it's the fact that there was no security for my family. The weather changes. Wind beats the tents, bringing rain with it. Tijuana officials are desperate to close this sports ground and move everyone to a proper camp undercover. But it's a race against time. The rain has already started. It's forecast to be heavy for the next couple of days. And that's likely to turn this place into an even greater disaster. So dumped on the doorstep of their American dream, they've become Mexico's problem. Nicole Johnston, TRT World, Tijuana.